Oh my gosh, even my backdrop and my hair, it's like purple and gold. This is a very purple and gold themed video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't follow me on Instagram, this hair is probably really new to you, but I just bleached it and went a couple shades lighter and I freaking love it. It did take me a while to get used to because this is the lightest shade I've ever gone, but it's been really fun so far. This is also the first makeup tutorial I'm filming in my new apartment. I am doing a makeup tutorial on this purple and gold eyeshadow look. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would and it's just a fun way to combine two very different colors together, purple and gold. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm starting off with this lip oil from Clarins. This is going to help moisturize and hydrate my lips while I do my makeup. Next, I'm using this lavender primer. This helps to brighten the skin, especially around areas of sallowness. Also, can't forget the eye primer. I'm using this one from Fenty. For foundation, I'm using this one from Laura Mercier. It's still one of my go-tos. I like to dot it all over the face and then blend it in with a foundation brush. Now I'm just going in with concealer for the spots that need extra coverage. Under my eyes, around my mouth area, and any other dark spots. I forgot to do a product cutaway here, but I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to set my face. Now I'm just quickly filling in my brows. Moving on to eyes, I'm taking the shade Golden Ochre from the ABH palette and just using that as a base over the eyes. Feel free to use any color close to your skin tone. This is going to help with blending the other colors later. Next, I'm taking the color Love Letter and applying that to the inner half of the eyes. The application doesn't have to be perfect because we'll be adding glitter layers over it. Using this fuchsia shade first though will add dimension to the look. Here, I'm just using a clean, fluffy brush to blend out the harsh edges. Next, take a dark brown shadow and apply it to the outer half of the eyes. I'm going back and forth between my eyes because I grabbed a bit too much shadow and it came out too strongly, so I'm dispersing it between the two. Again, taking another clean, fluffy brush to help blend out the edges. For the glitters, I'm using this eyeshadow trio from Kaja Beauty. I'm taking the middle shade called Ballerina Pink on a flat brush and applying that to the inner half of my eyes, right over the fuchsia color. Then I'm taking the last shade in the trio called Deep Plum and applying that over the center of my eyes where the fuchsia and brown shades meet. This will give the eye look a nice gradient from the light to dark colors. Moving to the lower lash line, I'm taking a golden yellow color from this Rude Cosmetics palette and applying that to the inner corner of my eyes. Okay, please don't judge me because I shattered this Urban Decay palette and that's why it's such a mess, but I'm taking this gold glitter shade and applying it right over the yellow. I think this palette might have been limited edition, so feel free to use any gold or yellow glitter. Going back to the ABH palette, I'm taking Love Letter again and applying it to the outer half of the lower lash line now. Then I'm taking Cypress Umber and also going over that same area. This will help smoke out the eye look. You can also bring it up to the top to connect the edges and also help darken and intensify. Next, I'm drawing a sharp winged line. I'm using a black dolly wink liner to draw the outline and then the Fenty fly liner to fill it in. For lashes, I'm using the Ardell Wispies, which is another favorite go-to of mine. Feel free to use your favorite lashes and don't forget to curl them. Next, I'm using this bronzer to contour my nose and the rest of my face, under the cheekbones, around the forehead, and down the jawline. For blush, I'm using a light neutral shade so that it doesn't clash with the eye look. To highlight the inner corner of my eyes, I'm using the first shade from the Kaja Trio called Champagne Cream. And for my face highlight, I'm using this warm tone shade from Charlotte Tilbury. And lastly, for lip color, I'm using this nude shade from Hourglass. That's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching and learning how I created this look. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!